Hi folks, Will at LR Workshop. So you've got a 300 TDI and you're having some problems starting. In this video, I'm going to show you some starting problems that I've encountered and some of the fixes for them. This list isn't going to be exhaustive, but hopefully it should help you rule out some of the problems on your way to finding what the cause of your starting problems are. So let's start with the basics. If you haven't got any lights when you turn the key on, that means your battery's dead or it's not connected. So just check the battery's connected and the connections are all clean. I've got a TD5 speedo here on this one and it's indicative of a dead battery that the speedo mileage, it goes out. If you get the dashboard lights and then you go to crank the engine and you get a clicking noise and the flashing of the lights, the battery's pretty much dead. So I charge the battery up. If the lights come on when you put the key in and turn it and then you go to crank the engine and nothing happens, there's a couple of causes for this. One could be the starter relay is dead or it's not plugged in correctly, so you can just try and reseat that one. The other option is the solenoid on the starter motor could be duff. So you could try taking off the, the turbo hose on top of it, and then you could try hitting it with a blunt object, a piece of wood or something, uh, while it's being cranked to see if that will free it up. If when you go to crank the engine and you get a full red immobiliser light and flashing lights and, and then the horn goes off, that means you've got an immobiliser problem, likely scenario for that is the battery in the hand says dead so you need to re replace that and follow the follow the procedure in the handbook i just created this scenario by taking the key fob off the key and that shows exactly what happens when it doesn't have the immobilizer signal on the passive coil if you turn the key and the engine does crank but it doesn't fire it just cranks and cranks and it's likely you've got air in your fuel so unfortunately that's going to be a bit of a bigger job to try and figure out where you may have air getting into the system but I would start by looking at the, the spill rail on top of the engine, the return hoses to see if they've got any leaks or holes in there and check that the fuel filter bleed screw is on tight. Other than that, you're gonna to have to look for small pinprick holes in the fuel system all the way from the engine back to the fuel tank. If the engine starts fine when it's cold, or if it's been sitting for a while, but then when you try to restart it when the engine's hot and it cranks and doesn't start, That's probably a problem either with the fuel solenoid sticking or it could be the immobilization spider that's down in the seat box. And you can get a bypass kit to rule this out completely because sometimes the solder goes a bit bad on the, on the electrical circuit boards. I hope you found this video useful. If anyone else has got any other comments or scenarios or fixes they want to chip in about problems with 300 TDI starting or not starting, then leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.